This is the National Palace of Culture in central Sofia. Poligenova suggested it as a meeting place. She spends a lot of her leisure time here at concerts or on the footbridge behind the building. So this bridge here, what kind of place is it? This is the Lover's Bridge. Um, we, call it because, we call it that because um, everyone uh, wants to make uh, his date here. It looks like um, quite romantic. Um, in the evening, it's, it's really beautiful because you see just lighting, a little, little lightings everywhere. Oh Sofia has more than 1.2 million residents. It's one of Europe's oldest cities, although there's not much left from antiquity. Many historic buildings were destroyed during the communist era. Time for some shopping. Poligenova takes Misha to her favorite store in the heart of town. This is where we met the singer for the first time two years ago. Back then, she just represented Bulgaria in the Eurovision Song Contest. She took us to a trendy cafe that looked like a cross between a tea shop and someone's living room and showed us her music video. She was buoyed up by her success, but she was aiming for more. Since then, her schedule has become chock full. Yesterday a concert, today a musical. Tomorrow, a shoot for her latest video. So, of course, she needs plenty of new outfits. <laughs> so what is it you are looking for? What, what kind of dress? Um, something very un untypical, as you see, mm -hmm. very unique. Mm. Next stop, the hairdresser. In addition to her clothes, Poli Genova is known for her conspicuous hairstyles. You have a lot of fans that dress like you, that copy your style? Oh, yes, especially the haircut. Um, the teenagers loves the shave, uh, shave thing <laughs> and try to do it. Today she's getting hair extensions and the stylish gives Misha a new look too. Yeah, three. Next stop, the National Music Theatre, where Poligineva is playing the role of Princess Jasmine in the musical Aladdin. Alongside her music and acting career, she's studying film, but despite her immense workload, she's very relaxed. Her big moment arrives. The 26-year-old seems tireless. After two and a half hours on the stage, she still has time for her fans. Since taking part in the Eurovision Song Contest, Poligineva has been a star in Bulgaria. Um, how important was the, the Eurovision Song Contest for your career here in, in Bulgaria? Very, very important because um, um, it opens me the every door I wanted to open. Uh, for example, I wanted to uh, to be a host in a big show, I was. Uh, I wanted to be an artist in the theater, I am. Uh, now I want to have my uh, um, first album, and I will have it. And she's still got enough energy for an evening on the town with some friends. Things kick off at the Veselo Zelo restaurant. It's one of Poligineva's favorite eateries. It features real Bulgarian cuisine. And that means meat, meat, and more meat. <laughs> Poligenova prizes the restaurant for its colorful entertainment. Misha gets the chance to learn a traditional Bulgarian dance. We end the day with a stroll through the city. At midnight, Poligenova says goodnight. The busy career girl has to be out of the house at six in the morning. <laughs>